Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. I'm Dan. We are back with another battle report tonight. Destiny style, Dan. Are yes. you ready? Yeah. I'm ready to lose again. It's getting exciting. We were just talking about this on Discord. Oh, <laughs> me losing. I was like, Dan needs a W tonight. <laughs> Uh, I was oh. like, I was telling some folks, I was like, we're filming one. I was like, Dan need, Dan needs a W. You know, I won more when we played Warhammer. I, I literally said the same thing. I said I don't feel bad because he won every single game of Warhammer. Yeah, yeah I with did. Your stupid. I cheese tactic a lot though. Yeah, God, they yeah. were awful. Yeah. Anyway, so tonight, guys, we've got a very simple throwback four v four Succession Wars era Magistracy of Canopus against Dan's pirate mercenary scumbags from the Tortuga Dominion. That's right. right? Yeah, yeah. I, was the, I don't know what they're called in the 3025 era. No, I'm not. I'm really, well, from everything yeah, I read, it's, it pretty much stays the same. Yeah, they're, they're just, they're always just there. jerks. Yeah, they're there forever, basically. So they're, they're coming in. They're, uh, they're, they're raiding. Uh, Magister Canopus Magistracy, excuse me. Do you know it's Magistracy? It's so yeah. weird. So yeah. many vowels. Uh, they, <laughs> they're sending a lance to intercept, so we're doing a very simple... Um, sea scrow mission. So that's when we divide into four quadrants. Whoever controls the most quadrants gains the objective point for the turn. So it's going to be interesting to see. We're going to have to, you know, spread out um, and get to it. Yeah. Now I'm in. Tonight, Dan built his own force from scratch on his own with no help. I did. I did. All right. Uh, he used the strike operations rules, uh, which are on Patreon. Yes. Uh, they will be up for download soon. Uh, and they uh, are the sort of the pick-off-the-shelf method. Uh, so, you know, very simple. We decided we're going to do a little game, nine force value, basically nine points, right? We both picked a medium lance. Yeah, we both did. Basically did the same thing. Yeah, we, upgrade, we upgraded the lance a couple points, and then we added a, a commander, right? An yeah. elite, elite commander to the yeah. lance. Um, I will say this, though, before we look at the forces. Dan pulled some shenanigans. He had a he had a Jaeger mech in his force, or Jaeger mech, Jagger mech, whatever yeah, Jager. they're called. <laughs> and then, like, 15 minutes before the game, he's like, hey, dude, bad news. It fell off the table and broke, so I'm subbing in a cataphract. That was, like, <laughs> suspicious. I mean, it's legit. It's legit. Suspicious. Because I, I texted him. I was like, who takes a, takes <laughs> a Jager mech? Who does uh, that? Nobody well, does I that. I printed it, and I was like, you know, I printed it, painted it, and I was like, I, I want to put it on the table and try it out. They're cool looking. But they're it, cool looking. Yeah. In a goofy sort of way. Um, that, but that does... But that's legitimate. It really did happen. I believe you. <laughs> I believe you. Uh, the Panther you have tonight. Yes. I'm giving away your whole force. We'll, yes. we'll look at them in a second. But the Panther tonight, you, you 3, 3D printed. We told you Dan bought one. He's been getting very good at printing. Yes. <laughs> Trying to, at least. <laughs> I mean, they're not, like, melting on the table anymore. Um, oh. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. But he also has three uh, exciting minis from Wave uh, Wave One and Two. Yes. Uh, so let me say no more. Why don't we dive in and take a look? painted mine. Dan, Dan painted his. Dan's look amazing. Uh, Dan always shames me with his painting, but that's why, that's why I hire people to do my painting. I don't think they're that good, but... <laughs> <laughs> I think they look great. Um, so, very exciting stuff. Some new forces, some new mechs you guys have not seen before. 
uh, in terms of the Wave 2 sculpts, right? Like, I don't think we fielded the Hunchback yet. Definitely have not done the Grasshopper, definitely not the Cataphract or the Trebuchet. So some really new uh, Wave 2 designs here to show off on the table. Let's see how they do. Dan, are you ready, sir? I'm right, ready. All right, let the carnage commence. Red Rock to Central Command. Pirate forces have touched down outside of Odyssey Crater, and they've already taken out the defensive grid. Roger that, Red Rock. We detected the dropship on burn and are already deploying a full lance in your direction. Estimated time until... Command, you cut out. Say again. Command, come in. Attention listening post personnel. The Tortuga Dominions claim your supplies and weapons. Do not attempt to resist, or you will be vaporized. Abandon all vehicles and hide. As if we see you, you're dead. <laughs> here for Dan and myself. Seize ground is the mission. Uh, the Canopians deploying here uh, and Dan's pirates uh, deploying over there. Uh, so you can see we have one objective marker in the center of the table. Uh, that represents the, uh, the center point in this mission. There is a dead zone six inches around the middle uh, where no one can uh, basically, you're not contesting any, any of the four quadrants, right? So uh, that's what that objective marker represents. Other than that, the battlefield, uh, pretty empty. Just a few little research stations or geodome habitats, whatever they might be. Uh, some fuel for this area. So we'll see what happens. Guys, turn one is coming right up. Stay tuned. All right, here we are, turn one after movement, the forces of, uh, of Dan's Mercenaries, the Tortuga... Dominion. Dominion. Don't have a name yet. Don't have a name yet. <laughs> I have a name for them, but I can't say it on camera. Um, so I've got basically my Blackjack out here on the flank looking for some higher ground, get those AC2s in play early. Um, trebuchet, we've got the, uh, the Grasshopper, and my commando, he's there, there, everybody's basically sprinting. Uh, Dan, what do you have going on on your side? Um, I'm pretty much split my force in two. Okay. Make sure I can try and hold two pieces of territory at all times. I like that. And then kind of meet you where, where I can. Yeah. But I think Makes it's going to maybe play a little King of the Hill, too. Okay. All right. I'm into it. Um, forces are in. Nobody's shooting. Everybody's sprinting. So on to turn two. Guys, stick around. The action's just heating up. back and there are mechs that are hopefully in range to shoot here. Um, I accidentally Dan put uh, uh, put some dice down here on the, uh, on the trebuchet. I had to move. 
Sorry about that. Oh, you're good. I'm not cheating, I swear. <laughs> I know, I know, we talk. <laughs> um, so the trebuchet walked. He, I, the, the, my God, I messed everything up. He's TM2 when he walks. Oh. So, so I go with the dice, that's it. He's TM2. <laughs> He's TM2. <laughs> so you take your finger <laughs> off the dice, it's over. Uh, so the trebuchet... Um, He's actually going to be able to shoot, I think. I'm pretty excited about that. I lost initiative, so I'll talk about what I did first. Blackjack did have to continue sprinting because he's slow as turds, but he's now up on uh, on level 2 elevation there. I'm excited because he'll actually be able to use those AC2s. Um, trebuchet moving up the middle. He is walking. Grasshopper still sprinting. Commando still sprinting. Commando has nice cover. Um, Grasshopper, as we know, lots of short-range weaponry, great heat efficiency, tons of armor, so really need to get him stuck in. Um, so just going to keep sprinting him, I think, until I get him in, you know, at least medium range there. At least maybe that large laser comes into play. We'll see. Uh, Dan, tell us your strategy. Tell us all of your secrets. My strategy your, is your to, pirate to win. To win this time. I love uh, that. So I hunchback, mm -hmm. sprinting him to kind of just, yeah, he needs to close the distance. He needs to, to get into the fight, like, to be serious. Um, the Shadow Hawk, I just moved him in, so he's within range of your trebuchet. Ooh. So now we can start exchanging real fire. <laughs> uh, the Panther and the Cataphracty, just sprinting up. They're getting a little PT in, you know, yeah. before the real serious fighting gets going. And then <laughs> that's about as far as I've got so far. All right. Well, that, uh, that sounds good. Yeah, so not a ton going on here. Uh, we, we will need to just fire each one mech. Um... My trebuchet is in initiative bracket three. What's your Shadowhawk at? Also three? Um, I don't know why I did what I did. Yes. Three. Okay. So that means I will need to shoot first as I lost initiative. Dan, will you do the honor of measuring the distance between the trebuchet and the hunchback? I do that. It's 22 and a half. 22 and a half? Okay. Yeah. So it's extreme range. Um, so my trebuchet is skill three. Extreme range is a plus four, so that's a seven, and then eight, nine. There is no cover uh, to the uh, to the hunchback. It's just wide open, Dan. These are on separate groups. LRM 15s. I'm gonna roll up the hits first. Here we go. Ready? Uh, what do I say? I needed nines, right? Seventy-nine. Nice. That's a miss. That is a miss. Pew pew. Welcome to thirty twenty-five. <laughs> uh, Oh. This is why all the mechs survived hundreds of years. <laughs> it's not because they were particularly uh, tough, it's just because nobody Everybody else everyone, around it was destroyed. Everybody yeah. sucked at shooting. <laughs> so. <laughs> it's too good. Alright, so your Shadowhawk's up. Alright, Shadowhawk. Uh, <laughs> well. I think. You just I, have an LRM5, right? Yeah, LRM5. Oh, he has an AC5. He does have an AC5, at, but I, we're at. Well, I don't know to the Shadowhawk. Is he, you, you have well, to... I mean, he's the same distance as the Hunchback, so... I don't know, Dan. I'm, my Pythagorean theorem says he might be closer. You think so? Because 21 inches will get you in a long. You... I mean... No? I just, I'm, like, literally right at just 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 outside of 21. Just outside of 21. Yeah, so those guys. I'm going to go with no. Okay. And that's Dan, like a rough. Yeah, this rough. is... Guys, when Dan says, I, I really needed to win tonight, I want you to remember this moment. <laughs> I could have lied. Honestly, no, because it's on... never pays. That's a, right, 4K, 4K now. You can't lie. I can't. You can't lie anymore. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, right, so it's just going to be the LRM5. It's just going to be hitting our... Nines, basically. Right? Yeah. Yes. And I don't think there's substantial cover between the Shadowhawk and the Trebuchet, is there? Um, I would say no. Okay. I, I think you're right, because he's far enough away from the hill. Uh, well, it doesn't look like it matters anymore, yeah. though. Okay. Pew. Pew yes. pew. <laughs> so, ammunition expended. Um, that's that. So guys, turn two's over. We're moving on to turn three. Stick around. We'll see what happens. Turn three. Here we are on this battered Martian landscape. I don't know how to describe it, Dan. I, I imagine this is like one of those low atmosphere, you know, planets in the system where there's like a listening post and, you know, typical pirate activity. You're, you're figuring oh, yeah. there's no there's no defenders in sight, but unfortunately, 
fresh loot, you know what I mean? We have... Yarr! Yarr! <laughs> Mount up in the old cataphract. We're <laughs> right in the moon. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, I lost initiative again, which oh. is... Uh, I don't know. Whenever I lose initiative, I always win in the shooting phase. So I don't know how that. I don't know how do I feel about that game. <laughs> eh, you know. So I'll talk about what I did real quick. And of course, we are moving in initiative order here. So I had to move my basically the order is like my blackjack goes, and this hunchback, uh, then I think your panther, then all the rest of my dudes, then then your shadowhawk and cataphract. But so what? What did I do? Blackjack. Um, pulled back on the throttle a little bit, slowing down to a nice walking pace. Bringing those auto cannon twos in range. I think I'm sighting down the hunchback. Uh, trebuchet, making a little move. I'm, I'm trying to stay very important that I'm on this side of the line and outside of that six inch circle. Uh, so I didn't, I was trying to make sure he was still contesting this side in case catastrophe strikes <laughs> and somebody's head goes flying. I don't know, it could happen. Um, so trebuchet's there. Grasshopper breaking off to intercept the, the cataphract that's cresting the ridge. Uh, and then my commando is valiantly hiding uh, behind the building over there. So that's what I've got going on. We'll see. I don't know if the grasshopper's in. Oh, I guess he's got the LRM in the large, so he's probably in range. I got to measure though. Dan. Yes, sir. What about you? Uh, so I just established a firing line. Mm -hmm. I'm slowly moving forward. Still going to try and keep that six inch, six inches away from the center. So yes. I'm going to start flanking out possibly. We'll see how things go. You know, okay. going to lay some fire down. Going to get some wounds. You know. Anything uh, anything exciting over there? The um, hunchback's in range. This is an AC-10 hunchback. I believe the Shadowhawk and the uh, hunchback are definitely going to be able to take some shots, and the cataphract, I believe he can fire at long range, so possibly might be able to get some shots in on here. That that cataphract is a lot of PPC, AC-10, right? AC-10 like, and a PPC. That's like a, the yeah. bread and butter one. Yeah, that's yeah. a great variant. Uh, one of my favorite mechs. I do love the, the redesign on that one. I agree with you. I do love it. It's really cool. Yeah. I actually just painted one uh, as I was showing you uh, in my my Capellan. They were called the Capellan Chargers then, but they're getting in, they're getting rebranded because of bad PR. Okay, uh, they're, they're getting rebranded. They're still going to be like nobody uh, likes Capellan, so I nobody likes Capellan. Yeah, no. they're still going to be Capellan affiliated. Oh, okay, they're, they're, okay. they're rebranding. Uh, I need to get like three more cataphracts, so I just run a cataphracty lance. Just a whole. Yeah, just a whole. Go right at it. Well, you know. Yeah. All right. So listen. I'm gonna shoot first. Okay. Uh, my blackjack's at the bottom of the list in terms of initiative. You mean you're gonna miss first? Uh, he's going to double headshot <laughs> first. So both AC2s are on a group. Um, so I'm at, I'm at plus four at extreme range, Dan. Plus four at extreme range. And you know, it's funny, like in the Succession Wars era, like very few things actually have been hit at extreme range. I think AC2s and LRMs are like the only things. Um, I was looking at the plus four and I'm like, oh, that sounds strange, but it's not a LB2X. It's not like, you know, anything crazy. Yeah, like, we're playing fancy. with normal, normal yeah. weapons here. Yeah. Um, it's going to okay. be a long game. Three, four. I need eights. We're at long range, right? Oh, do you want to measure for me? Sure. More than happy to do that for you. Let's keep, let's now, keep, uh, let's keep those numbers facing up for the, for the sky cam there. Right, so, so that can, is definitely. We can zoom in at 4K. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say that is just over 20 inches. Yeah, so that's good. It's full, 21 is the cutoff, so we're good to go. Um, so, oh, so that means we're at long range, so it's plus two. So I'm three, five. I only need sixes, Dan. How about them bananas? Okay. How about mm -hmm. that? Here it goes. You ready? Yes. <laughs> I got it. <sighs> then I got it. Rolling for location. So whopping. Two points of damage to the center torso. That's a lot, man. So I have guts one, right? So that. Well, that's all. Guts only reduces damage to the pilot, not damage to the mech. God, that'd be amazing. If it would, yeah, that would be. That'd be like the most. If, it's like I have seven guts. Shoot me with a PPC uh -oh. or two. <laughs> that's uh, okay, so blackjack stun shooting. Your hunchback is up. My hunchback is up. Um, he can fire. You know what? He's gonna do it. He's gonna shoot back at the. Uh, the blackjack. The blackjack. Yeah, so he's gonna hit on on eights, right? Yeah. All right. You ready for this? I'm, I'm ready. Yep, that definitely hits. You disgust me. That's a ten. Uh, I can see that. <laughs> Do you want to roll for location? <laughs> uh, headshot! Come on, headshot! No. Nope. Eight. All right, so that's another torso hit. And that's four damage. Oh wow! Yes, sir. 
What kind of auto? What did you just send me with? An autogun AC-10? Yeah. Yeah, that's... That's... Makes my ACs feel inadequate. <laughs> well, when I actually hit with it. But, you know. Yeah. yeah. Well, I have I have two AC twos. It's like an AC four. <laughs> All right. So moving back, uh, I I need. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. Your Panther. Do you have line of sight to anybody? The Panther ran. Oh, he sprinted. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So he can't do anything. I mean. So then it's back to me. Commando's out of the picture. So it's just the the grasshopper and the trebuchet trebuchet is going at that uh hunchback okay. we're gonna try to take that thing out of the fight uh so we're just going to concentrate on it for the next 12 turns until it dies <laughs> uh, so two lrm 15s uh pretty sure we're at long range so uh i'm gonna need three four five i need sixes all right am i missing anything i'm not sixes here we go one hit second lrm 15 hits okay so each of these LRM-15s is 1 plus M3 with a max of 5. Okay, so I only get uh, a group of 1 and a group of 3. So the group of, I uh, will start with the highest lowest, group of 3 hits the torso, and group of 1 hits the right leg. LR. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think about that one. So uh, next group of missiles here. So that's going to max the damage group of one and two groups of two. It's crazy. When you don't have, like, Artemis and stuff, the, the missiles actually miss sometimes. You know, like, you don't hit with everything. Um, but here we go. Torso is a group of two. Torso, another group of two. Torso, group of one. Oh, my God. So close. Damn. So close. That's Trebuchet. Right? Woo! Cheater. Man, he's a cheater, yeah. yeah. Uh, so... Can you do me a favor, measure range from the grasshopper to the catfish? You're looking at about 14. 14? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do large laser and LRM5. So um, it's long range, so plus four on the laser. So he is he's skill two. He's my leader. That's your leader, right? Your lance yes. leader? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Leader on leader, leader, on leader, leader. in action. All right, so two six seven um and let's see is there is there partial cover here dan i think so there is for me not from me to you i don't think from you to me because you're coming up over the hill so there will be no cover if you're shooting me back but uh so oh, uh, I will be. so i need an eight done right yeah four five six seven eight yep here we go got it Left leg. Uh, all right, LRM five misses. Darn it. How much was that? Was that four damage? Uh, no, it's a uh, large laser three, just three. Left leg. Yeah. Okay. Woo. Okay, so I'm done shooting, Dan. You are in position to retaliate, as they say. So we're gonna open up with the Shadow Hawk, uh, which he can fire his LRM five and the AC five. Okay. The LRM5 he'd be hitting on. <laughs> Fives. Um, so Seven. Sevens. Three, Sorry. four, five. Six, seven. Six, seven. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That is a miss. A miss, okay. And then on a nine for the AC5. Nope, misses that too. How'd you get a nine? Because well, it's long range, right? Yeah. Okay. So it's it's four. Oh, it's a four. four. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So uh, missed everything. All right. Well, what about the cataphract and the uh, yeah the cataphract? He's got PPC and AC ten as well. Yeah. Yes. So he's gonna fire and he'd be hitting on nines as well. And what's he what's he shooting? The grass. No, I'm sorry. He's not hitting. He's gonna be hitting on sevens because he's two. Yeah. He's yeah. That's right. He's skilled too. So two, four, right. um, I'm sorry, I lied on this. This is, he's TMM1. Okay. Um, so you're two, three, and what's your range? Plus four? Yeah. Yeah, so sevens. All right, so there's no cover uh, from your side. So that's a hit. For, we're shooting? firing, the, that was the AC uh, okay, 10 first. Yeah. They're both four damage, yeah, so it doesn't really hurt. Agreed. Um, and then we're gonna do the shed. We'll do the PPC. Yeah, just roll them up the head. I think that's, that's fair enough. Well, 
That's... I don't think it can... Oh, no, if you roll a six, it could hit. Because you need sevens, right? Per, per the rule of Tom, if it bounces out of the tray... Dan, I'm not Dan. trying. I'm not trying to swear. All right. If you would have rolled a six there, I would have called you. <laughs> that would have been... I would yeah. have invoked. All right, so I that is... the Tom Brady rule. That is going to still do four damage to... Come on, headshot. Nope. So that's five. Um, so. Right leg. Right leg. Right leg. Okay, so Grasshopper... Captain gets on the comms and mocks you. As we shoot each other in the legs. I was going to say. <laughs> What's he mocking me for? Oh my God. So he's at four damage, right? Yes, yes. All right. All right. So the Shadowhawk missed everything. Correct. The Hunchback shot. Okay. So the only thing I think that we need to do now, Dan, is um, I believe your Hunchback may need to take a piloting check. Yes. Because you took so. over seven, but you didn't take 14. No. So his he's piloting four. I think you need to make a five or better. Yep. You got it. Okay. All right. Well, that is that's turn three in a nutshell, guys. Um, missiles are flying. Now, in terms of points, we're getting close here to pressing into each other's territory. But remember, it needs to be. In order to control it, you need to own it entirely. So, like for example, if I run my commando back here. And he's still alive at the end of the turn, like you wouldn't control that back quadrant, right? So um, it's interesting. So we'll see what happens. It's heating up. Turn four. Dan, are you ready? Yes, sir. All right, guys, stay tuned. It's coming right up. already on this blasted landscape tortugas mercenaries moving in uh, on the magistracy cavaliers uh, actually they're not the magistracy cavaliers in 3025 they're claiborne's commandos okay weird things happen in the old clan era uh, <laughs> units get renamed back in 3025 they were claiborne's commandos which is like a volunteer unit or something They're pretty interesting fluff on sarna uh but i i want initiative Miracles happen, Dan. Something I did learn, though. Tell Apparently, me. from our last campaign, Keystone, the planet, was one of the last locations that the battle uh, Battlemaster was actually produced. Really? Yeah, there's like one, it's one of like three planets, but for the longest time, he was, that was the only planet that the Battlemaster was being produced on. Yeah. Very cool. I don't remember the time period, but... Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why Clan Wolf didn't have it lightly defended, because they don't care about the battle. Master. Clearly, yeah. They're like, look at the size of the cockpit yeah. on this thing. Who would want to drive this? <laughs> so I, I just moved my firing line up uh, over the ridge. So now I have my Panther and the Cataphracty ready to uh, just get into it. Um, the Hunchback, who's probably going to die, he just figures, you live once, let's do this. So Hunchback pilots do. And uh, then the Shadowhawk's like, bro, we're dying together. So he just moved up. They're going to hold hands when I land on the ground. I So, after I looked at Dan's force, I realized we took the Shadow Hawk. What is it? The 2D? 2D. So which has, like, three pieces of armor. Yeah, like, like literally has, yeah. like, three paper plates <laughs> on top of its internal structure. Yeah. I wasn't paying attention to that when I was picking it. I'm not going to lie about that. That was a mistake. I mean, I feel like every one of your forces has, one, like, a mistake, Mac. Oh, absolutely. It's like absolutely. a bad relationship. I'm like, learning. That was a mistake. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the, the LB2X Ice Ferret. The thing is, it's like, with Warhammer, you make one mistake, you kind of still have an army. Like, this, you make one mistake, that's catastrophic. It's, <laughs> uh, that's very true. Uh, well, uh, here we go, guys. Force building, very important. Blackjack. Uh, moved up behind the, the biodome there, or whatever it is, um, <laughs> Thunderdome. <laughs> He's going to be shooting down uh, Hunchback or Shadowhawk, depending. The Trebuchet, um, so I got to move him in sort of the, the end of the turn at the, after everybody else had mostly moved. Um, actually, I think everybody had moved. And I kept him out of 12 inches. I kept him out of medium range, so it's like 13 inches. Uh, and I'm doing that intentionally because He's I don't... scared. I'm terrified. I yeah, mean, I'm you're scared. very... I'm scared. The, he, the, the pilot, <laughs> the pilot scared Dan. It's not me. I'm just role playing the, the, the pilot. Okay, um, Grasshopper. He's looking at the cataphract and the the commando. The trap has sprung. The commando, the commando is... is now in the back quadrant, and just SRMs are blazing. He's he's just unloading. Wow, on the he should have been. 
using the sharpened shade. Clearly, that man is fearless. He's fearless. Fearless. Look at him. The smaller the Mac, he's got. He's got a lot to prove. It's <laughs> compensating. Oh. Uh, um. Okay. He's the same pilot as the Ice Fair pilot that I had. <laughs> the same guy. Yeah, same one. It's a hundred years earlier. Um. So who shoots first? Uh, you shoot first with, yes. the, with the Hunchback. Yes, the Hunchback that, does that, fire that fire. Okay. Yes. Um, since he's still, I believe he's still in long range for everybody, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, over, over 12, but within 21. Yeah. yeah, so all he's going to have is the AC, the AC-10, okay. um, which... I guess he'll fire it now. Will he get cover? I think he gets cover. Nah, I don't think he gets cover. All right, he'll fire at the blackjack. Yeah, there's there's no cover there. So uh, that is. If uh, you were Tom, four. I would say there was cover. That's eight. It's gonna be eight to hit. <laughs> you do Almost. Have, so close. You do have edge. I do, and he's about to die. I would say. I would say I'm gonna edge it. You are? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. I would have saved it for some defensive rolling, but you know, that's me. I like I like your your aggression. No. Didn't work. No. Are you sure you need an eight? Yes. One. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. That's four and three. That's eight. I'm yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry. So close. So close. Uh, okay, so my, my blackjack is firing back. Now they're at long range, AC twos. Uh, so I'm going to need sixes. Here we go. Got it. Two points to the torso. Cool. That's into structure. All right, so critical hit, uh, confirmation, need an eight or nine. Dan's like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this yep. is typical. Yep. All right, so let me think about this, guys. I need, um, looking at my, looking at the new quick reference sheet. We put together a new quick reference sheet. It's up available on the website. So snazzy, Dan. It is snazzy. Uh, six, that is an engine hit. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Four. Uh, so Hunchback's going to take an engine hit. I want to grab one of these little markers here, just so we remember. All right, so moving on, Shadowhawk is up next, number yeah. two. No, Panther. Oh, Panther. Panther is up. Okay. Um, he is going to, because he can, I'm pretty sure you're within medium range, right? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah baby. With some light on light action. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, is that, is that medium or is that? <laughs> within 12 is medium, yeah. 12 or less. He's definitely with 12 or less. Okay, yeah, you're definitely with 12. All right, so so that's going to be five, sevens to hit still, unfortunately. Three, four, five, yeah, six, seven. Um, and that's with the SRM, or the SRM4 and? PPC. Okay. So we're going to fire the PPC first. Very cool. Hits. And that is a hit. And then? And the commando's dead. You don't need a roll location. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> <laughs> just vapor. <laughs> just goes up in a pop of smoke. Uh, Alright, we'll do a location for that. Okay. So that is going to be nine. That's the left of the leg. That's uh, what the, the legs. That's internal though, Dan. Is it really? Uh, that's four points, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's a commando, bro. Oh, alright. Uh, so eight or better is going to be a critical. Alright, no critical. Which is a good thing because this is a custom. I put all my ammo on my legs. <laughs> just, just kidding, I did not. All right. uh, so his left leg, right? Yes. Um, takes one in the structure there. Okay. That's going to be uh, SRM four, which is also going to be a seven to hit, which is and that's a one, definitely hit. One plus M one, I believe. Right? Yes. Yes. With a max, so yeah, one D six on for the M dice. Two. two. So what's the max damage? Three. Yeah. So yeah. you got to you max it out. So you have a group of three and a group of one. Okay. I'm sorry, group of two and a group of one. Sorry, my math is, is failing. Uh, group of two. Group of two is uh, double ones. Dan, do you, know, do you know? You don't know, Dan. No. You should know. This is a, a floating critical. It's a through armor critical Ooh. head. <laughs> Ooh. So you're going to roll it again. And yes. That just determines the location. And even if you're not internal, you get a, you get a critical chance. So that's a five. A five. That's that is right leg. Um, okay, so you get to roll a critical confirmation. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Eight or better. That is a twelve. Wow. Critical hit. Wow. I could have used that like a moment ago. A moment ago, that would be good. <laughs> but I'll still um, take it. Okay, so uh, 
yeah, the only thing that can happen is an actuator hit. Okay. Because there's there's nothing else in there. So, exciting news. His TMM goes down to one, and his speed goes down to four or six. That is ugly. That's ugly. That's a that's a blow. That hurts. Um, okay, and you still have a point, one more point of damage, Dan. Yes, yes. If you I, roll, I it's, I'm like, is there one more thing I need to roll for? One more thing. Ten. That's ten. left arm. If you got left leg again, you would have blown his left leg off. Uh, but left arm, so hits armor. Okay. All right. Well done, Panther. I'm kind of happy with those results. Yeah. Um. So now we're gonna go with the cataphracting. Okay. No, wait. Three. Now I can't. Right? Do you have any threes? I do have a whole bunch. Everything else is a three. Okay. Um, so, <clears throat> do you, uh, yeah. So let me let me shoot first. Yep. Then you can shoot because it may it may you may want to see what I do. Um, all right. So we're gonna start. I can I can do them in any order I want. I'm gonna start with the trebuchet, and I'm gonna fire on that hunchback. Um, sure. Just just sighting him down, waiting for the missile tone. Beep. And I'm just gonna let him rip. So we've got twin LRM 15s. I need three, four. I think house rule, you're not allowed to use missiles anymore. Me? Yeah. Personally? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, just Tom says there. the same thing. Tom's like, you should have heard Tom ranting about LRMs in the last <laughs> game. Um, I, may, I may have edited most of it out. He was getting so mad at LRMs the last oh. game. Uh, <laughs> so I need a three, four, uh, and we're at long range, right? So I need sixes, which is pretty good. I like long range. Here we go. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, I missed. <laughs> Did you really? I just rolled double ones. All right, second launcher. That one hits. It's one plus M3. Uh, so that maxes out. So one, three, one. So I'm gonna do a group of three to the torso. What is up with this, dude? To the torso. Group okay. of one. Just one. Oh shit! He's got one point left. It's one got point. one. Group. Group of one point to the right leg. Okay, this is too funny. Uh, I can't admit, I cannot believe he's still alive. I'm amazed you haven't killed him. Do you have anything else to fire? Oh yeah, I've got lots of Okay, stuff. okay. Cool. But not at him. <laughs> <laughs> so he so he is in force withdrawal, so we're gonna mark him. No, he's not. He's got one more point left. Actually, let me, let me make sure I mark him with the, the leg actuator hit. Yeah, he's still in force. He's still in force withdrawal. I mean, come on. He can still shoot, though. He gets it well if you make your leadership check. We'll talk about more on the end of the turn. You can also spend your point of leadership on your cataphract to like if he fails someone to rally him if you so desire. Um, but let's let's uh, get over to this grass hopper. That's what I'm so I'm going for the cataphract. Uh, we're at medium range. I am firing literally all the things. Firing everything. Alpha strike. This is what grass hoppers do best. You got nothing sense for that. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Grasshoppers are really good. Uh, cool, 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 cool. All right, so here we go. First things first, Dan. I got an LRM five. Uh, so the LRM five. Of course, you have the LRM. Because medium range is plus zero. So what's my let me see what's my base? Two, three. So it's three plus range. So I need a three to hit. Hits. Uh, it's one plus M one. So two groups of one. First group, right arm. Second group, torso. So one point to right arm. One point to torso. Large laser. Five. Hits. I'm gonna roll all my hits, because they're all fives. And these are two groups of two medium lasers. Misses, oh no. And hits. So one large laser and one group of two mediums. So here we go, large laser, where's that landing? Right arm, that's three points of the right arm. And then the medium lasers, which is four damage, going to the right leg. All right, so Commando is up. This is this is like his glory moment. He's like, I'm in range, guys. Uh, so he's, I'm invincible. I'm gonna, I'm gonna live forever. <laughs> so he's firing. Uh, and actually, I gotta look because I'm not sure what their heat profile is like. Oh, we can fire everything. That's awesome. I love Commandos. So he's gonna fire. He's got a SRM six and then a group with an SRM-4 and a medium laser um, as he limps along with his like gimped legs. Um, so he is going to start out here. I need three, four plus range. We are at medium, so I'm gonna need sixes around the board. So we're gonna start with the SRM-6, so I'm just gonna roll the hit for everything. SRM-6 hits, and then the SRM-4 and the laser. 
also hits. Okay. We're going to start with the SRM6. It's 1 plus M2. So just a group of 1 and a group of 2. So the group of 2. Headshot it's not going to get through the armor, however, uh, your pilot would take 3 points of damage. But because you have guts, it would reduce it to 1. Okay. Do you want to edge it, or do you want to just take the point of damage? I'm going to take the point of damage. I think that's, yeah. uh, that's probably probably wise. Um, he would be the minus one penalty going forward, but I think I think with the with the guts reduction, that's probably the right thing to do. Um, okay, now a group of one uh, sorry one point going to the torso, and then the SRM four plus lasers is three plus one with a maximum of five. So uh, I got a group of three and a group of two. Group of three goes to the torso. Group of two goes to the right leg. Okay, so, I've shot everything. I'm all done shooting, Dan. Mm -hmm. um, spraying your face with SRMs, as commandos do. Uh, now you get to retaliate with your Shadowhawk and your Cataphract. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> we're going to open up with the Cataphract. Okay. We're just going to, uh, I want to kill. So we're going to go after this uh, this little guy here. The commando. The commando. He's going to I feel like that's a little rude, but. I'm just going to feel my wrath. Uh, <laughs> so that's going to be fours to hit. So yeah, you're because you're mean, short. You're at short range, right? We're at medium range. Oh, we're at medium. Oh, yeah. okay. cataphract to, to commandos medium. Yeah, it's got short. So three. three six is to hit then. Uh, well, you're at two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay, that's right. So we'll start with the AC ten first. Uh -huh. That's a hit. We'll. Uh, Roll location, or do you want to just yeah, do we'll yeah. Roll. okay? Do it that way. So six, good. and that's four damage. Yes, that's in turn, Ooh, so that's a that's a critical, right? That, that is a critical. Hit. <laughs> you and confirm that it. Ten, that is confirmed. Uh, okay, uh, so roll one d six. If you look at your quick reference sheet mm -hmm. on the right hand mm -hmm. side at the bottom, there's a table of critical hits. Down here? No, uh, that's yep. aerospace. Well, yeah, right? keep, keep going up. So it's aerospace and vehicle and mech, and you look for torso. And one of the six. Critical uh, hit, engine. Five, so there's your engine. Oh, boy. Didn't your engine already take oh, damage? Oh, boy. No, that was your engine, now. My engines are all fine, okay? <laughs> uh, uh, so now we're going to do the PPC. Oh, my God. <clears throat> which is still going to be a six to hit, which that is a hit. Oh, boy. Um, and then we're going to roll for... For location. Did you roll a knot? No. <laughs> that right, is. I'm, I'm gonna edge it. Are you? That's, well, I mean, what do you mean? Am I? That's You're gonna rude, knock man. his head clean off if you do that. That's rude. I mean, he's gonna die anyway. At least there was a comment in the last <laughs> battle report. Top, I edged the Warning. Land destroyed. Um. Okay. So hang on now. Yep. Yep. So you blow off his leg. Um. So we actually clarified in the most recent edition of the rules, which is, I think, 3.4 as of the filming of this, Dan. Uh, and it's on the quick reference sheet. When you have a leg destroyed, it's an automatic failure of your PSR. Okay. That means you automatically fall down. Okay. All right. It also means your mech warrior automatically takes damage because you automatically fail the piloting check, right? I mean, you imagine these things are running along at 90 kilometers an hour and you get your leg blown off. Like, yeah. You're crashing to the ground. Like, I don't care. Yeah. Like, you, you know. Uh, so the pilot takes damage. The mech's also going to take damage. Now, it's a light mech. Um, it's under 30 tons. It's only going to take one point of damage. But uh, at the end of the turn, like when he falls, you'll get the roll for the location of that okay. uh, point of damage. Okay. Okay. So you still have other awful things to shoot. Yes, yeah, so I still have two more uh, twin sets of... Medium lasers to fire at him. So I'm gonna roll both of those to hit first, and then I'll roll location. That is a miss. Woo! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! So <laughs> all the lasers are front facing. Yes. Dan's pulling some shenanigans. It's legal. Uh, so one group hits, one group misses, right? Yes. <clears throat> so four points of damage. Correct. Rolling for location. Come on, lucky twelve. Come on, lucky twelve. Not twelve. Nine. Oh my God! Just blow off both of his legs. Well. I don't think he's getting back up. He's not getting back up, but he's he is not in forced withdrawal yet. <laughs> Seriously? Well, now, if you if you roll torso on the fall, 
Well, I mean, this is the end. Right? This is the end. Yeah. So, so let's see what happens. So he is automatically going to fall. Dan, can you roll six, seven, or eight? No. No, I can't. It's a right arm. <laughs> the persistent, commando. Persistent little man. Oh, commando. wait, I still have to fire the, the Shadow Hawk. Oh, yeah, you do. That's a good point. Yeah. So, I mean, I already actually did look um, during yeah. that whole thing. Yeah. And where you have that gold brick. Yeah. What gold? What gold? Is right on the other side of the, uh, yeah, the yeah. towers. Yeah. Yeah. He cannot see the commando. Oh, oh, I can't see the gold from here. Yeah, the, okay, yeah. The, the mineral deposit. If it wasn't there. for that, he'd be able to see through those and hit the commando. But uh, you could you could indirect fire, but you didn't declare any. Spotters. I didn't, so I and can't. Also, it's an yeah. I'm not gonna. You know, I'm not gonna yeah. be lame like that. Um, so going for the the blackjack, or I think I'm gonna because I already have hits on it. Yeah, you do have right? four. You four and you're about fifty percent off on the CT. Um, on the blackjack, trebuchet is undamaged. Yeah, because he just misses it. Trebuchet. You know, it's tough, tough to say. Trebuchet is a little less armor overall. I don't know. It's looking dire in that side anyway. Yeah. Um, let's take a maybe I'll get a lucky shot. Who okay. Knows? Who knows? Who knows? Maybe some uh, ammo explosions. Maybe not. <laughs> All right, so that's going to be uh, the LRM five is going to be. Oh. So you skill three, four, three, four, plus your range. Five, six. So yeah. six. Okay. That is a hit. Okay. Um, so we'll roll. That is a one M one with the two damage. So. Oh, wait a minute. You got to roll um, M dice confirmation. Yes. Sorry. All right. So one D one D six on that. So that was a 10. So the first point, assuming you, so you only confirm one point to the 10, which is, which is the left arm. Um, all right, so you have any other, you have any C5, right? Yeah, and then one AC5, which is going to be on, uh, what did I say, six, eight. Yeah, eight for that one. Which Ooh, is eight. All right, so it's going to be two points of damage? Yes. Where's that going? Three. Three. It's right on, uh, oh, that's... Right on. Yeah. That's right on. Did you hit left arm before? You did. Yeah, we're just spraying it out. You're just spraying it everywhere. Yeah. Okay, um... It's exciting. All right. Well, that is the end. That is the end of turn, uh, whatever this is, turn four. Yeah. It's turn four? It's turn four, Dan. Uh, so let's take a look here, though. Uh, I, I score a point. Yeah. Because I'm I am contesting your back, um, you know, the, the back left from my perspective. I control this one. I control this one. And you control one. So I, I have two, you have one. Yeah. Um, so I score. So the Actually, magistracy yeah, 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 you're of right, Canopus yeah. uh, will we'll go up one nothing in this game in turn four. We're not very good pirates. You're okay, pirates. Yar. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see what's happening here. Turn five is usually the telling turn. It's the bloodbath turn. It's coming up. Stay tuned. Five. Here we are. Pirates are, uh, they're wily and nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Poor legless commando. You're just looking for the salvage. Uh, yeah, I, that's I know it. it. You yeah. know it. That's it. Um, so I lost initiative. Uh, and I didn't make the first move. So my blackjack moved up. Uh, he's taking some cover there. We'll see uh, if I can finish off that hunchback who's in withdrawal. Uh, the trebuchet is making his move back towards this rear quadrant here uh, because I'm gonna I'm pushing my grasshopper up to try to contest that rear quadrant uh, since the commando is pretty much gonna get mauled I think by the panther. <laughs> we'll see. Um, so that's that's what I've got going on. I think shots are pretty clear. The only question I have is a trebuchet. I can shoot the shadow off or I can try to put some fire on that uh, that cataphract. The the grasshopper did jump over the building though doing some uh, some theatrics there, <laughs> as it were. Some some acrobatics, some fancy schmance. So Dan, what do you got going on? Um, well, the hunchback needs to uh, he needs to run away. Oh, so. so we did forget to mention off camera. We did you did roll piloting and morale. Yes. You made both. I, yes, yes. Yeah. He's a good pilot. He's just not 
He's not. He's not a good pilot. Iron will. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I, I did. I did draw him back uh, about an inch. Okay. Um, and I pushed the uh, Shadowhawk forward to maybe get some medium shots on that trebuchet. Finally. Yeah, yeah. you're in medium range here, which is nice. Um, and then the Panther shifted to the right um, to get the final, you know, final blow on that. Maybe. Commander, like maybe get I mean, it. Dude, he, might, yeah, he's, he might he's, miss. I don't. Know. <laughs> uh, and then the cataphracty. He's kind of mad because he's, he got beat up a little bit. So he wants to. He wants to get some. Uh, some yeah, yeah, some short range range uh, shots in on that. Yeah, I. I mean, I, I probably the, the forward facing medium lasers is a thing I do all the time. Yeah, on the on that <laughs> and also the centurion. Like I think and the Zeus too. I think rear facing lasers are such a waste. Yeah, it's it's. That's kind of silly to even have them. Like, I mean, right. I don't I'm know. not an idiot. I'm not gonna let you know somebody get behind me for me. Be like, oh yeah, haha, ha, I got me. No, right. What? If they're behind <laughs> you, two medium lasers aren't gonna help. Yeah, you know? like maybe in real world situations, having medium lasers in the back that makes sense. But maybe. this is a tabletop. Yeah. Like, like if you play a lot of infantry, I understand machine guns and stuff in the rear because that's a thing that like can swarm you and like you know they're yeah. like all over. Yeah. I don't. I don't understand the heavy. You know the, the heavier. Uh, you know stuff there. But regardless, shooting at all. I'm going to be shooting back. It's going to be fun. My commander's going to shoot too. Oh, yeah. He can prop up, do some one arm. You know, one arm firing. I mean, I don't agree with you, but that's the rules. I mean, it is. The rules. <laughs> so, that's what, that's what gotta, you can do. Uh, okay, so guys, uh, we will be right back with shooting. Uh, I will kick it off with the blackjack. All right, Blackjack is up first, and that Blackjack is going to be firing at his uh, his arch nemesis and the Hunchback. Um, do love the paint job, and I like the like the orange you did around the the AC. Okay. Uh, very cool. So thank you. I am going to fire everything. I have two AC twos and four medium lasers. Cool. Um, and I want to try to finish this guy off. Oh. So three, four. And range. Does he still have edge the hunchback? I think he does, doesn't he? Yeah, because I only used it. Did I? I used uh, it for somebody, didn't I? The cataphract, I thought. But maybe I don't know. No, I'm pretty sure I didn't use it for. Maybe it is. No, no I, I think the hunchback is gone. I think I used it to. Re oh, reroll a shot. Yeah, 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 right. In the very beginning. Okay. Uh, I'm foolish, human. Yeah, and I think uh, I missed. Okay. It. So here we go. So three, four. I need fours on the ACs, sixes on everything else. Yeah. So AC twos hit. I'm just gonna roll all the hits. Lasers hit. It's like one hit. Lasers this, hit. You're okay. gonna hit the torso. AC twos <laughs> hit the right leg. Damn. Oh. Two points of damage. Oh. Uh, I got two Go pairs of two medium lasers. Uh, these are. God, are these really four damage? Four damage. Each yeah. Time? Medium yeah. lasers. Love them. Gotta love them. Or not. Left arm. Ooh. Oh my god. Can I not finish this stupid thing off? <laughs> I mean. You only need to get one more shot in the Here torso. Comes. Here it comes, Dan. You ready for this? Oh my god. Negative no, kill you cannot finish it off. No. He's going to have to make a pile. Watch, you fail the pine check, he's going to fall on his torso and die. It's going to be the oh, most. He's going to die in his own sword. Yes. Um, uh, oh my god. I didn't go internal? No. All right. No. So, I mean, the trebuchet is going to have to shoot. He didn't have any back. any damage on his arms at all. You've literally oh been hitting God. his chest on everything except for the right. one time he was like. Well, what goes around, I guess, uh, you know, something like that. When in Rome, I don't know. When, when in Rome. <laughs> one of those expressions. Um, when in Rome, <laughs> miss everything. When in Rome, just hit the uh, torso. So, I think your panther's up. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, so, he's going to fire into, obviously. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait. Uh, hunchback, then Panther. Oh, yes. No, you are correct. Yeah, Hunchback. So the Hunchback is going to shoot back. Um, and since we're at medium range, he's going to be firing at a... Oh, oh my god, dude. Three, yeah, you, five, six. I just three imagine, eight. like, backing up. <laughs> taking shots. It's like, I'm not dead yet. I'm not going to take you Not guys. today. <laughs> um, and he's going to... He's going to alpha. Because he can fire every... No, actually, he can't fire every everything. But... He's not going to alpha because he can't fire the, the, the short lasers. It's like Shark Tooth Larry the pirate. <laughs> it's like Shark Tooth Larry and Jeff. He's like, not today. <laughs> All right, so that's a hit, a definitive hit. Yes. You didn't hit the head, though, no. because you got to roll. Yeah. First. Now, well, that would be for the AC-10. Yep, AC-10 um, hits. Do you want to just roll all the hits first? Yeah. So then now it's going to be the two twin lasers, two sets of twin lasers. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, this thing has four mediums. So hit. that's a hit? Oh, man. And that's a that's a hit, hit. yeah. Yes, right. Yes, yeah. yeah. Um. So now we're gonna roll. We'll do the well. Everything's four damage. Makes four points. Yeah. So we're just gonna roll. You have to declare it, otherwise it doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So that is four. So four is the right arm. Right arm. Destroyed. That is going to blow off the right arm. That knocks out two groups of weapons. Then. Ooh. Ooh. I didn't know it was that close to hurting him that bad. Um. So that's nine. That's a nine? Yes. Left leg. Okay. And then... That is five. A five right leg. Still though... Try. Uh, they try. A vicious, a vicious blow ripping off an arm there. So I have a laser and an auto counter on each arm and like a knucklehead, I, I did group them. Oh. So that's gonna knock out two ticks. Um, okay, that's so moving on. Uh, I think we're coming back to my side of the table. Wait, Panther. Oh, Panther, you're yes. right, you're Panther. right, you're right, you're right. Panther's okay. gonna be firing into, obviously, the Commando. He's gonna right. have the PPC and he's got the SRM4, um, so he's gonna medium range. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be five. Okay. Five's a hit. Does that even count? Uh, no. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh. You edge it? That's ah. A could be, could be big. I'm gonna edge it. I gotta. I he's gotta know. die. I don't know. He's gotta die. I mean, you still have an SRM four though, right? I edge, edge it. That's a. <laughs> that's a definitive hit. <laughs> that's a hit. Ah, uh, so we'll roll for location on that. You realize the safety was on. <laughs> Apparently. Oh, so that's ten. Oh no, that's arm. So is it left arm? Yes, that's his left arm. All right, so you rip off his left arm. That's gonna knock out a weapon group. And then we have the SRM4. Oh, no. I cannot believe this guy is still... That's, dude, it's crazy. Five is what I need to hit, right? Five is what you need to hit. Yeah. So that's a hit. Um, How do you need a five? Oh, he's got a three? Yeah, he's got oh, a three. medium range, four, five. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yep. So you get two groups of one. And then... First group. It's five. All right, he... All right, and the second group? Three. Okay, so the five, you rolled a five to hit? Yes. I thought you rolled a six, but regardless, if it was a five or a six, it's gonna go up into the torso because the leg is gone. Okay. So that is gonna do enough damage not to kill him, but to put him in forced withdrawal. However, when you can't move and you're in forced withdrawal, you auto eject. Okay. Uh, because you can't withdraw. So he dies because there's no Basically, atmosphere in this. <laughs> it's weird. No, his that. pod just keeps going into space like <laughs> later <laughs> he's gone he's like oh crap for like the oh. point of the parachute he's like it's not doing anything I'm not coming back down oh my god he's just gonna connect right with the dock ship the drop ship dock with it um okay so the commando is gonna be out of the fight so edge I think well spent there alright grasshopper thundering over the building jump jets blazing Crashing down, torso twisting, alpha striking at the cataphract. Uh, so, Dan, here we go. Yep, it's gonna hurt. So he's skill two, one word short range, right? So I need threes to hit you, is pretty much the name of the game. Now, I actually, I need fives with the LRM5 because I'm at point blank, the uh, minimum range penalty. So here we go. So that hits, I need threes for everything else. I'm just gonna roll a hit. Hits, two more hits, and hits. So everything hits. Uh, LRM5, two groups of one. All right, so here we go. LRM5, one point to the torso, one point to the left arm. Large laser, three points going to the torso. Ooh, this is getting good. I have four medium lasers left. Two groups of two. Four points each. First group to the head, Dan. Ooh. Do you have edge? Yes, he does. He hasn't used his edge. Oh, dude. So, yeah. So let me tell you something. If you would have edged the prior shot, this would have killed him. Yeah. Because yeah. you are a scandalous <laughs> scoundrel, uh, he will live. Unless I roll another 12. All right, so you edge the head shot. Here we go. Oh, my God. I saw the one six pop. I was like, yes, <laughs> but no. Uh, so that's left leg. Four points to the left leg. Okay. And then the last group of four 
to the torso. That is into structure. Into structure, okay. I do not confirm a critical hit. Um, okay, so moving over to the commando. The commando is gonna prop up for his last, last blaze of glory. Now, here's the thing. If I prop up on one arm, I can shoot uh, my SRM4 group, like the, you know, everything that's on the arm and, and uh, oh no, I can't because it's on the right arm and left arm. Well, I guess I'm gonna, well, this is a conundrum. I guess I can only fire my chest mount at SRM6. Uh, so I'm prone, so it's plus two uh, for shooting. So I'm You're like the Black Knight from the Holy Grail. <laughs> oh, <laughs> legs up, dude. He has no legs to bite off. Um, oh, crap. All right, so he's skill three, basically skill five, six. I need an eight. Here we go. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. I, I just make it. That was a six. <laughs> uh, all right, so that is, uh, I think it's two plus M1. Let me just double check. I don't have this one committed to memory. Uh, one, I'm sorry, one plus M. Is it one plus M2? Oh yeah, one plus M2, okay. Well, either way, I'm just doing one point of damage to the head, I'm just kidding, to the left arm. To the left arm, okay. Oh, he's like, last place of glory, like one missile's like, <laughs> oh, I'm just like, pink. Yeah, right, yeah, exactly. Right. All right, so trebuchet, I was saving the trebuchet for last because if I had done substantial damage at the cataphract, I think I would have gone for it. Now, I am internal on the torso, mm -hmm. but I think I want to finish off the, the hunchback. Um, is okay. what I want to do. So okay. I want to fire at the hunchback. We're at long range. Okay. Uh, so skill three, four, uh, five, sixes. I need sixes with my LRMs. Love, love LRMs. Love long range, as I said earlier. So I need sixes, two LRM-15s. Here we go. Hits. I'm going to roll them both. Hits. All right, so they both hit. Uh, one plus M3. Ooh. That was a bad one. Uh, so just one. One pip that hits the left arm. Oh my God, are you kidding me? This thing will die. <laughs> okay, so a group of three and a group of one. Here we go. Group of three. That's it. Enemy That's mech it. destroyed. That's it, finally. Swarm of missiles, LRMs homing in. The hunchback goes up in smoke. Took you long enough. Um, it took me long enough. I mean, that's important. That's a lot of firepower that thing soaked up. I mean, I did get lucky early on, but it ended up evening out in the end. Uh, so I am done shooting. You still have the cataphract and, and your shadow hawk. The right? shadow hawk. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna. I think we're gonna open up with the shadow hawk. Okay. And since I smell a little bit of blood mm -hmm. on that blackjack, I think I'm gonna. You think you're gonna do it? We yeah. were talking about this. Yeah. It seems to be the most vile, uh, vile, vile and viable choice. Vilely viable. Because I want blood, man. Vilely I want vile. I don't want another. Either way. But uh, all right, so we're gonna open up with the LRM fives, which is gonna be we're at medium range, so I'm not gonna get negative. So it's gonna be three, four, it's four, four to hit. Yeah. That's e a hit. Easy. Um. So one plus M one. So yes. a one, two, or three. Yep, so one. two pips of one. So that's going to be... We're going to do that location. Yeah. Torso. Torso. And... Five. Ah, uh, right, 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 right. Right, right, yeah. Yeah. Alright, and then we're going to... AC5. AC5, which is going to be on sixes. To hit. That is a hit. Okay. And that is going to be... Six. Torso. Is that two points? That is two points. Oh boy, he's got one pip of armor left. Um, we're gonna go with the twin mounted medium lasers. Okay. That's the same thing. Sixes. Okay. That's a six. <laughs> 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 so we're going for location. <clears throat> and that is seven. Oh god. So that's torso. I'm gonna, I'm gonna edge it. <clears throat> I'm gonna edge it, Dan. Structure critical. That's still seven. So he is in forced withdrawal, and that's a critical hit. Well, I'm not done yet. Well, roll oh, up. Actually, well, yeah, you got SRM twos. Right? I would have to declare it if I was going alpha strike, right? 
No. Oh, I okay. mean, because I, I mean, why yeah. would he build? Would he build up heat? I assumed yeah. you were alpha striking, but yeah, he would be building up heat for those. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do the uh, twin SRM twos. Well, why don't you roll the crit first? Okay. Uh, eight, eight plus to confirm that, because otherwise nice. we'll forget. All right. And then twin SRM twos. So that's gonna be a six plus to hit. Yeah. That is it, man. And was that two plus M two? Yes. All right. So roll two d six. Uh, for the M dice, and you got a what, a one and a two? Yeah, one and a two. So, uh, two, it's two plus M2? Yes. So you're gonna do two groups of two then. All two right. groups of two? Mm-hmm. Gonna roll for location. So that's four. So that is right arm. Yes. Which unfortunately, Dan, is gone. Which means it transfers into the torso. And that black job is short. Really? really? Oh wow! Look how excited you are! I am. Yay! <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. Honestly, man, I, this whole and thing has been like joyous. from our from our from my perspective, this whole thing has been going bad for me. But, well, I mean, I, it's 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 anybody's game. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you're up a mech at this point, which yes. is which is huge. Um. So, is that? Oh no, your cataphract. Yeah. Cataphract. Still have that. Okay. Still have that. Okay. So the cataphract is going to fire. Uh, alpha everything alpha, right. into okay in a guy which is short range so he's not getting any negative so he'd be hitting on fours okay because for some reason you're you get too difficult to hit oh you will you're at a three because you took the pilot hit correct so fives to hit yeah, yeah. fives to hit yeah good call so important so something misses he's just a yeah that's an AC ten I mean I'm just going down the list he's a little so, busy yeah. If I miss everything. Nope, that's it. Yeah. All right, so that's the PPC. Yeah. Um, should I just go down? Please? Yeah, I think that's probably because they're all just direct yeah. damage, you know. I cannot believe this. Well, you just killed two mechs, so. So, right, so that's, that's five. five. So that's a hit. Still eight points of damage. All, all right, right so. still going to have to make a piloting check. All right. So that is nine. That is left leg. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Nine. Okay. Well then. Not internal, but his legs are really beat up. <laughs> not I mean, extremely beat not up. the results I was looking for, but uh, the AC ten and the PPC just mm -hmm. failed me so bad. Mm -hmm. It's true. Oh, and he builds up heat for that too. He does. You know what I realized is when I shot you, I'm, I'm thinking back though. I don't think I, I needed to add plus two for jumping. I'm going. I mean. It is what it is. We we made the rolls. Yeah, okay. I think I think I did hit. It's my fault. I'll check, go back and check the tape too. Um, okay, so we're done. We gotta make some piloting checks. Yes. My blackjack's dead. My hunchback is dead. So he didn't have to make a piloting check because he's dead. Yeah. Um, I finally get to see the front of it. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> the commander's dead. Yeah. Grasshopper needs to make a piloting check. Uh, I'm gonna need like a four or something. I make that, and then your cataphract has to make a pilot and check. I think he also needs a four. He failed. Did he really? Yeah. So he falls down. He's gonna take three points of damage, Dan. I'm gonna roll the location for that. Head. He died. That's it. Game over, buddy. Just like that. I can't, I can't deal with that right now. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. We're back. Yeah. We just, it was painful watching yeah. it on an extremely <laughs> tiny screen. So uh, check it out. The medium laser group, the LRM missed. So we retcon that damage. Yes. Removes one from the torso, one from the left, left arm. arm. Yep. And then the second group of medium lasers did hit the head. Yep. So we restored Dan's edge. Yep. And we took four damage away from the left leg because that's where that damage went. That group actually missed. The rest of the damage stood. Yes. Uh, it was still enough to, to trigger a fall. Dan would have, Dan and I discussed. Dan said, "Well, I would have re-rolled the piloting check." Yes. Uh, which he did uh, before the cameras were rolling. So it's it, it's legit. He got an eight. <laughs> uh, so the cataphract is alive. Yes. All right. I, my apologies for that. It I is. hate, and I was like, and I'm sitting here, and I said to Dan off camera, I said, I am not going to win on, like, a, a, <laughs> yeah. a technicality, yeah. right? And I mean, if you, the, the, just the way the sequence, everything went, it was, like, perfectly 
everything just that one moment in time yeah it's like just dictated like, the the, the entire entire game. Just yeah. like do you really want to win on a technicality yeah oh god i couldn't i wouldn't yeah. be able to sleep tonight you don't want to be trying. um so i feel i feel good about that i'm glad we we had the ability to kind of go back and uh and do that so cataphract's still up but i will headshot him next turn yeah so no, don't, so don't no, worry I he did that, he yeah. did spend his edge though <laughs> he's still standing oh yes that's it's right. the end of turn right. five Blackjack's dead, Hunchback's dead, Commando ejected. So it's basically the Trebuchet and the Grasshopper, who are relatively in good shape, facing down the bang, uh, the banged up Cataphract, a fresh oh, he's Panther, hurt. He's hurt. and a fresh Shadowhawk with yeah. three paper plates hanging yeah. on his <laughs> So we'll see what happens, guys. That Shadowhawk does pack a punch, um, so we'll see. But That Shadowhawk was a terrible idea. Yeah, he took, he took a point of heat, too, or something, right? Well, no, let's not forget that. No, uh, yes, yes. So, yeah. turn six now, guys. I feel good. I'm refreshed. I feel, I feel clean. <laughs> I feel clean. Uh, so <laughs> it was, it was worth the. the uh, I did not want to. I did not want to yeah. end like that. So I'm glad we did. Here we go. Turn six. Six. Here it is. Uh, Dead Max littering the battlefield. The pirates, though, uh, currently leading uh, in terms of Max, but not the, uh, the yeah. magistracy still up one nothing. Yeah. Uh, last, last term was a wash, by the way. Uh, we, I don't think we said it at the end of the term, but we each contested uh, opposite quadrants. Um, no points to be gained. I lost initiative, didn't I? Yes. So I, I had a. I had a well. You moved your panther first, because yes. he's in the lowest bracket. So yeah. the panther kind of came rumbling down the hill. I moved the grasshopper around and the trebuchet across. Um, trebuchet is looking at the shadowhawk, was looking at the shadowhawk. Grasshopper definitely shooting the panther. Um, so what do you got going on? So I'm going to tag team on that trebuchet. And then the, uh, the panther is just... Uh, yeah. He's gritty. Yeah. He's... Gritty. <laughs> um, he's uh, is uh, yeah, he's gonna pucker up a little bit. All right, yeah. <laughs> All right so one uh, panther can kick us off, yeah. So he we'll can just fire, roll, we'll just roll right into the panther, yeah. firing at the grasshopper. Now, they are just outside of short range, I believe. They're at like three and a half, are they, or are they at short? No, they're definitely within short, okay. So they're at short. yeah, so the PVC short. might have a minimum range penalty. I'm not entirely sure. No, that's point blank. Oh, only a point blank, yeah. Okay, so he's gonna be hitting on. Yeah. Okay. Hits. So that's definitely a hit. Uh, we're gonna roll for location on this. Come on, twelve. Yeah. Heads. No. Torso. That's okay. a good. It's a good solid blow there. All right. And, and now the SRM, SRM four. Four. Hits. It's a hit, and then that is a one M one. Five. So just one point. So one, two, or three does that much more damage up to the maximum. So basically, you're just doing one point. Uh, four, five, and six does nothing. And that is a ten. Ten. That's left. Left arm. Okay. So that is the. Uh, that's the panther. That's the panther. Okay. What do I need then? Uh, well, he did, did I jump? Let's check. I did not, <laughs> I did not jump. So well, I two, get partial cover because of the smoke. Uh, yeah, so I'll give you a plus zero for partial cover. <laughs> so I'll take it. Base three. So I need fives and threes for realsies this time. Okay, fives all right, and threes. Here we go. Fives and LRM threes. LRM five. Hits. I'm just going to roll all the hits. Yeah. Laser. That's the large one. Medium group one. Hits. Medium group two. How could you miss? Everything hits. Dude. Yeah. Everything hits. Why not? I was just watching your face the whole time. <laughs> as I as I roll. Uh, so let me roll that M dice here. It misses. So basically, first thing, one pip to the torso. Pip, pip, one pip to the... There we go. To the Large torso. laser to the right arm. That's going to be three points. To the right arm. Okay. Yeah. A group of four points of damage. It's two medium lasers. Four points going to the head. Enemy mech. Oh, uh, trim shades up. I can only hope for a headshot. I'm going to fire two LRM-15s. Uh, I'm feeling dire straight, so I'm going to build, I'm gonna alpha strike and build up two points of heat. Uh, and I'm firing at the Shadowhawk. So, 
First seller M15. What do I need? We're at uh, we're at medium range, right? So yeah, yeah. Three, four. Okay, here we go. Hits. And then the other things I need sixes. Okay, so everything hits. Uh, so the first seller M15 is one plus M3. All right, so that's going to be max. So group of three, going to the torso. Group of one, going to the left leg. And group of one, going to the head. <laughs> Ooh, I got to check these dice. We need, yeah, we need one right? of those like official casino <laughs> to, to test the weights. Oh. Uh, all right, so the other LRM 15. Here we go. Um, one to the torso. I'm sorry, two to the torso. One to the torso. That's structure. Uh, to the leg, one to the leg. Which leg? Uh, right leg, sorry. Okay. You pick, pick a leg. And then a floating <laughs> critical to the torso. Oh, cool. So another pip to the torso. And, sorry, I'm like speed rolling here. Um, so I'm gonna get three critical confirmations. Sure. One for the first crit, one for the first structure, one for the second structure, and one for the floating critical for the through armor. All right, here we go. Nope. Nope. And yeah. Okay, so D6, four is a gyro hit. Gyro? Gyroscope. Uh, but you know, the good news is the Shadowhawk's still in one piece. Yeah. He's not in force withdrawal yet, is he? No. Uh, not under half of his structure? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was hoping to kill him. Um, so, oh wait, I still have medium lasers. Forgot about that. I can still kill him, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Could happen. I hit with them, rolling for location. Oh no, 10. That's the left arm. Okay, well, the Shadowhawk still stands. Oh, uh, is he that took damage? A four. Four? That's two lasers. Yeah, I tell oh, that's going to be in the structure again. On the arm? Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. Let me roll that critical up. It confirms. Uh, so, arm critical, that's a weapon. So, what weapon's on that arm? What do you have? Uh,. Meaning lasers. It's that's it. It's bound to the left arm and right arm for twin meaning lasers. Okay, so I'll, yeah, I'll knock that out. Which you know that'll be next turn. That'll that'll be gone. Um, okay. I'm depressed because I don't have anything left to shoot with. I was hoping to kill that Shadowhawk. Now this knucklehead's going to have a gunnery penalty and a movement penalty next turn. Um, okay. You may go. All right. Um, I guess we'll start with the Shadowhawk. Okay. And he's gonna fire everything, so he's gonna build up. Keep. Another another point of heat. Yep. All right. Uh, and then he is firing at medium range, so his LRM fives. Uh, he will be hitting on uh, fives. Okay. That Hits. is a hit. Um, and that is one M one. Yep. I see two groups of one. Four. Four. Right arm. And... Nine. Left leg. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to be firing the AC5. Okay. Which is going to be hitting on... What did I say? Three, five, sevens. Uh, three, five, six, seven. That is a setup, so that's a hit. Okay. Uh, we will roll up for damage, which is seven. That's torso. And then two we have, points? Yes, two points. Then we have the LRM, or I'm sorry, the medium lasers. Yeah. Which is also going to be on a seven, which is a miss, but he has edge. So. I want him. I want I'm going to use his edge. This could be big. Yeah. Get it? No. Oh, not at all. <sighs> Such a waste. <laughs> I know, it's so frustrating when, you, when something uh, like that happens. SRM2s! And that is a uh, 2M2. Okay. So that is yes. also a 7, so that's a hit. And then we are hitting on. You get two, two M dice, so you can roll another one. So, three and four. Alright, so you max the damage out. So it's what is the maximum damage in parentheses? Three. Okay, so a group of two and a group of one. 
So it's a five. Okay. And ten. Ten left on. Well, that was a splash fest. Uh, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. He did take eight damage though, so that will ta that'll force a piloting check at least. And now the cataphract. Okay. He's going to open up because I believe he's on medium. Yeah, he's medium range. Yep. So he's going to open up with the AC ten. He's going to be hitting. Sixes. Okay. Took, I don't know why it took me that long though. I don't know. That is a hit. Okay. Um. And then he can fire, he can alpha strike and not build up any heat? No, right? he's going to build up heat for that. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. Um, This is going to be for the PPC. Sorry. Okay. Yep. So that's a hit. Um, I'm just rolling down for all the hits because they're all four damage across the board. Okay. Uh, it's convenient. <laughs> they all, do they all need sixes? Yes. Two, three, four, yeah. Yeah. So that is a miss. All right. And that is a hit. Okay, so there's 12 points of damage coming in. So that's going to be 20 points of damage total that he took this turn. So that's seven. Oh, boy. So that's torso. Torso. Oh, boy. That is three. That uh, is your right arm. Hang on. That's an internal critical shot. So go okay. ahead. Roll for the crit. Uh, let me just, yeah, yeah. There's, okay. there's, there's, there's meat in there. <laughs> so that All right, so there's nothing but um, Weapon destroyed. One laser. So you knock out my three medium laser group. Okay. That hurts. Um, and then the last set of lasers, which is it as well. Oh, oh I already got it. Yeah, so that's out. torso. That's, um, that's internal and puts him into forced withdrawal. Ooh. That's a huge hit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna edge that, I okay. think. I'm gonna have to edge that. Okay. I'm gonna edge it down. What if I get a headshot? Then I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I did not. What'd you get? Six. So, right back to the... Right back to... It always happens every time, <laughs> but like, I don't even know why I save it for defensive purposes. So, one, two, three, four. You're still in withdrawal. You're going to get a critical hit. Oh, right, right, right. So, 2d6, 8 plus is what you're looking for. You confirm yep. it, Dan. Yes. 1d6. Three. That's a giant. You're going like tit for tat here. This guy is going to have a really rough life. Like, he... Because he's got the gyro hit. Well, he also is going to... Yeah, he's... All right. I'm both gonna... him and the Shadowhawk are going to fall down. Yeah. Why don't we do that right now? Okay. Uh, we, we're done shooting, right? Yeah, I don't have anything else. Okay. So he took um, 20, 20 damage. 21 would give him a plus 3. 20 only gives him a plus 2. So <laughs> unfortunate for you. Oh. Uh, but the gyro is an additional plus 2. And his skill is 4. So I need to get an 8 or better. Or okay. he falls down. I got a 10. He's a boss. Uh, okay, Shadowhawk. Now he took a gyro hit. Yes. He didn't take as much damage. He only took, um, what did he take? 14. And he did take 14. Yeah, yeah. Roughly, so I think 14, because he was, yeah. yeah he so was you need the same thing, you need an eight, yeah. Watch me, watch me get snake eyes again. Yeah, yeah. What can I say? Okay, so he's gonna fall down. He's and only gonna take two damage, though. Uh, two the. Oh, oh yeah, you can roll that. Right. So that's the ten left arm. Oh, that's blown up then. So uh, left arm's destroyed. Yep. Okay. Is there anything else in that left arm? Nope. All right. Well, there you go. Not too bad. Worst things have happened. He'll just get up next turn, but he does have two points of heat. Um, so do I. Which is crazy. These mechs are cooking. And your cataphract has a point of heat now too, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we're moving on to turn seven. Here's the thing, though. Uh, he's still good. He's not in withdrawal, right? Correct. His torso armor, yeah, he's fine. Yeah. So he's he's gonna cap a point here. He can't cap anymore because he's in withdrawal. Okay. The the trebuchet is uncap uncapable, <laughs> uncappingable. Uncap. I don't yes. Know. Yeah. I'm making up words. It's getting late. So you actually get two two territories yes two uh, quadrants yes i get none oh no your panther's dead yeah <laughs> yeah i get one wow um, did you just, did you just like never he's, still, there, like... Well, he's still standing there. <laughs> uh, he's dead he's still standing there <laughs> okay. i just noticed the blood dripping down the cockpit class oh. um sorry uh so he got out he's he got... just wandering around <laughs> just floating off into space with my commando yeah, pilot. They're, they're, like, they're like giving each other the finger. <laughs> um, oh. But you you gain a point, so it's a tie game now. Yeah. 
I have one tech, I have one quadrant, you have two. Yeah. This is intense. Yeah. Yeah. Where do we go from here? Turn seven, I guess. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, okay. Yeah. Let's see this. All right, turn seven. Yeah. Here we go, guys. It's coming right up. Seven. Pirates are holding on. Now, um, one thing I forgot to do at the end of the turn on camera was roll for his morale because he wasn't forced withdrawal. Uh, he needed a 10 because base number is eight. I had, a, I had weapons out, um, you know, so I had enough, I had enough modifiers basically, um, weapons disabled, and then also any other critical like the gyro. I took a gyro, so that was minus two in total. And so that put me to 10. I rolled like a six or something, so he failed that. I did spend a point of leadership so that he didn't run off the board, basically, so he was able to rally and move an inch back. Um, I lost initiative, which was huge, uh, because I had to move both of my units before Dan moved his. Yes. Um, so I moved the grasshop around, hoping to cover angles of fire here, uh, and my trebuchet just moved back an inch, trying to keep my options open. A couple of other points of note. Dan did not build up any heat on his shadow uh, hawk. He can't do math. No. I, I, I like, I have like, something I don't can't do math. I don't like how to read. I was, <laughs> like, I was like, how's the shadow hawk building up heat? Um, oh. But it's fine. So the shadow hawk doesn't have any heat. However, Dan, do you want to tell us what shenanigans you have going on? So uh, I moved my uh, the cataphract all around the building, as you can tell, to mm -hmm. there, uh, less than an inch. So I'm not going to be building up a negative firing. Right, he's stationary, yeah. So he'd be considered stationary. Um, just to stay out of sight of the uh, grasshopper, um, just because he's still kind of scary. Yeah, um, and then the shadow hawk, I'm leaving prone, and I crawled him um, around the, the bend there, so he'd be outside of the sight of the uh, grasshopper, but still capable of firing um, via his torso by, you know, right, even on the ground uh, into the trebuchet, and hopefully yeah. taking out that trebuchet with the uh, cataphract. This right, turn. and you can shoot basically everything because everything's in your torso and head. Yes, it's still active. Yeah. At least. Unfortunately, his left arm is gone, so the lasers are gone. But who needs lasers? Yeah, when you have everything else. Right, exactly, <clears throat> exactly. Um, oh, is your, your left arm's totally destroyed, so yes. you will have to one arm shoot yeah. then. Yeah. that's fine. You can still do it. Um, okay, shooting. Let's just get right into it, shall we? Yes. All right. So my trebuchet. Uh, I'm going to go into the cataphract. Okay. I want to see what I can do here now. I lost all of my lasers. All I have is two LRM 15s on gunnery three. I have a gunnery penalty from heat, uh, which is plus one. So I'm basically at a four, uh, and then we're at medium range. So I need fours to hit. <laughs> I, I have no, I have no edge. Yeah, neither do I. Um, so. so here we go. Barely one. hit one. Let me just make sure I'm doing the math right. Yeah, that's all I need. Okay. Just got them both. All right, just got them both. Let me just make sure that's all right. Three, and you have no, you have no mod. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. They're one plus M three. Okay. So, a group of one and a group of three. Group of three going to the torso. I mean that structure. Okay. Uh, that is no critical. Group of one going to the left arm. The other LR fifteen. So, three groups of one. Torso. Torso. He's it. So the trebuchet finishes off the cataphract. Um, okay, so now you get to you get to annihilate me. Yep. Return fire. Okay. So I guess we'll start with the uh, cataphract first. Who be? Are we? How far are we? We're not within medium, right? Oh, we are. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, medium range. Um, so I'm gonna get a, it's gonna be a two, four, fives. Got a hit. Uh, that's a hit with the AC-10. Oh, I'm just gonna go down the yeah. line on hits. The PPC, that is also a hit, so nine. Medium lasers, that's a hit. And medium lasers. That was also. 
That is it. Everything hit. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna roll for damage now. Locations. Location, location, location. That's six. Okay. Six or so. so that's four. So he's annihilated. Um, <laughs> That's that. That's that. Yeah. Okay. So your Shadowhawk can't sh see the Grasshopper and vice versa. Correct. Okay. So I don't know what to do now, Dan. Let's let's confer. It's the end of the turn. Going into turn eight. <laughs> uh, so nobody scores now, right? Correct. Because neither. Well, yeah, we both just control one. We both just control. Yeah. Because uh, we decided to murder each other. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of ruins my plans. Yeah, I thought you were gonna score two this turn. Because right now we're tied one to one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we could literally just run around this map all day. All day. Intriguing. <laughs> turn eight. Turn eight's coming up, I think. Uh, Stay tuned, guys. Hey. Turn eight. This is it, Dan. It's do or die. Yeah. So Dan's trying to run out the clock. Um, I need to avoid the, the dead zone in the middle. So he got up, he sprinted, uh, and he's looking for cover over here in this quadrant. I'm coming across. We're at extreme range. The only thing that the grasshopper has is an LRM5. Yeah. This is do or die. Yeah. If I hit you, I could potentially yeah. kill you. I'm pretty much going to die. I could. I could also just not. That's true. Grasshopper does have edge. The Shadowhawk also has edge too. He does. Yeah, he does. Okay. So we can I need two, five. I need a nine. Yes, sir. Here we go, Dan. I want to spend my. I want to spend my edge. <laughs> I want to spend my edge. Here we go, ready. Roll it again. Dan's using his edge. Edge, <laughs> the edge. The edge of the edge of the edge has been edged. I miss. Yes! Okay. I needed that. Dan needed that. <laughs> I really thought you were going to win this one. You know, for a moment, I didn't care. I was like, for like the past two turns, I'm like, ah, I'm going to lose, whatever, whatever. But like that roll, now I'm like, yes! Now I'm going to win. I'm excited. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, so here's what's going to happen. <laughs> It's turn eight. Yes. Turn nine. Basically, you're gonna do this. Oh yeah. I'm gonna. And, and I'm gonna, gonna hide and cover it, and I, I'm not gonna be able to get you. Yeah. So it's a one-one game, right? Yeah. Or a two-two game actually, uh, because you scored one last turn and I scored one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's a two-two game. So it ends in a draw, Dan. Yeah. Does it end in a draw or do you win? I mean, I feel like I feel like it's I, a draw. It's a good draw. I mean, I feel I like my, my points that's, is a draw. That's what I'm going with. I didn't lose. I can't believe... I didn't realize your cataphract was so damaged. Yeah. It was. It I was. mean, even the, the Shadowhawk, like, dude, seriously, is hurting. It is hurting. Yeah. Grasshopper's got some, some paint chips. Absolutely terrible idea to bring this this uh, Shadowhawk. I mean, weapons layout was it's, nice. It's, yeah. It's beefy, yeah. but... It's got yeah. beef, yeah, but it's... Uh, exactly. It, it literally was weaker than the... the the panther. That was unfortunate. Yeah. All right, here we are on this unknown battlefield. Uh, just playing a game here, Dan. Just playing a game. A game of carnage. The uh, the Tortuga Dominion sending in nefarious mercenaries to raid this Magister C planet, uh, but. Uh, a medium lance here on garrison responding uh much to their dismay though the pirates uh the pirates brought their a-game uh they're <laughs> the only thing that's left here in this garrison is this grasshopper uh just chugging along here in this low atmosphere world chasing down that wounded shadow hawk hoping that none of them escape alive so guys stay tuned again after actual report is coming right up
All right, guys, there it is. Uh, in the bag, Dan. Yeah, in the bag. So that was, uh, I didn't actually do the, the BB calculations on this one. Um, but I, I would imagine it's, it was pretty close. I, the, the cataphract and the grasshopper are relatively similar. Um, you know, the panther's a little more than the commando. The hunchback's, I think, about on par with the trebuchet. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then what did I have? You had the shadowhawk and what was my, my other, uh, oh, the blackjack. So I think, I think that was fairly matched. Um, I didn't run the actual BB numbers, though. I mean, from a gameplay perspective, I thought it was fun. Yeah, no, I definitely still have fun. I feel like maybe next time I should bring at least one LRM boat, like dedicated LRM boat instead uh, of... Yeah, and I mean, it would have been a train wreck if you brought the, the Yager mech. <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to call it out right now. Um, uh, the cataphract is good, you know, the, the just the, the little modifications to flip the lasers forward is like a must-do. Yeah, yeah, um, absolutely, absolutely. You know, I thought... Shooting from behind it doesn't yeah. make any sense. Like, the one thing you could potentially do with that Shadowhawk is, <clears throat> you know, if, if you guys don't know, we have a, um, like, a refit and modification sort of system that we built. Um, actually, we built it a long time ago for classics. It might be three years old at this point. Um, but I just refreshed it, and just, like, you know, in the new document format, it's up on the website. Um, and what it, what it basically is is a framework for um, reasonable modification of mechs. So yeah. it's not like I'm going to strip off, you know, you know, all of my longbows weapons and mount an AC-20 in the torso. Like, you know, it's not, it's not like, you know, munchkin builds. Like, I don't put a targeting computer on everything. Like, no, you can't do that, right? Um, you know, or like, you can't just give stuff double heat sinks. Yeah, I know yeah. that's, everyone's always like, well, just give it double heat sinks. Well, no, like, that's... You, not everybody gets double heat right? sinks. Right? Like, you either, like, it's either on the chassis or it's not. Um, so there's, there are some restrictions about how far you can take a modification, right? Um, so you could, in the Shadowhawk, for example, dump the SRM-2s and upgrade it to, like, another long-range missile launcher. You know, maybe take, and then you have, like, three LRM-5s. Or, you know, you could, I don't know, even drop one of the 5s and upgrade it to a 10 or, you know, something along those lines. You could do something crazy like that, you know, to give it more long-range yeah, firepower. Yeah. Um, I do think, though, the, um, the, the lack of armor. Was yeah. Just yeah. You know? Yeah. Because I mean, it basically created it was a medium mech that had become a ultra light mech at that point. <laughs> like, yeah. I, you're just you're not gonna yeah. you're not gonna fit the role you need to be. No, and I'm you know I mean, I, admittedly, I'm like not a hunchback guy. Um, never was, never will be. Uh, they have a weird. They're, they're city mechs, in my opinion. They yeah. look cool. And you brought the right variant, right? The 4P or whatever, the one with the, L the LBX, or I'm sorry, the AC-10. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the one to bring, I think, you know, AC-10. Like, even when, like, the King Crab, right? I always mod it. My, my like, Queen Crab variant, as I call it, where I, mod, where I <laughs> drop the AC-20s and put on AC-10s. Like, AC-10's a great weapon in this era. Um, but it's still just too slow. Uh, it took a beating, though. It did, it did. It definitely, I mean, straight from the outgo, it was... I mean, but it also got its licks in. I mean, it did put a little bit of uh, a little bit oh, of put, a, on put a hurting on the blackjack. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I kind of I like the hunchbacks because at least in Mech Warrior, the way they run, they're like, they run. <laughs> they just it's so goofy. That's why I love them. Just just imagine, just imagine <laughs> that's why I just that. it's just running down. Da, da, da. That's yeah. funny. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, mm. Well, I mean, it was cool, and I think what was really fun about this battle was um, neither of us picked. The, like the most optimal max like yeah no, i would never right. take like a bat a blackjack bj1 like i'd say like, such trash <sighs> yeah um i basically looked at what i had it's a like, fun mech to take right i yeah. want to try this I wanna exactly try that. i i picked max that i was like what haven't we seen on the channel yet and and like wave two you know um the trebuchet is fun i'm surprised you didn't prime it earlier um i'm actually surprised you shot the grasshopper at all like my grasshopper strategy is to ignore it Okay. Um, I mean, I honestly just so uh, at this level, like, I wasn't even sure what mediums. his capabilities were, but I was oh, like, yeah. heavy on heavy. How could I go wrong? But yeah, no, yeah. I probably should have just avoided it altogether and just yeah, mistakes were made. I mean, it's yeah, it was tough because like you know, you it was basically a collision course at that point. Yeah, um, yeah. but they have so much armor. It's it's nuts. All right, so that's all I got to say about this battle. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I was I was actually hoping you would you would win after um, after you killed the commando and you moved the the guy around the building the cataphract yeah, yeah. around the building I was like oh he's gonna go ahead and points but my trebuchet 
who is apparently Buck like shot, you know, crack just, shot pilot. Yeah, yeah. it's like doo, 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 right it's on the going torso. down. It's like, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fantastic. It is what it is. Fantastic. I'm not hating. I mean, it's not a loss. You know, that's how I'm gonna take this. It's getting it's getting better. <laughs> I do think maybe a couple of a couple of tweaks in the force design. Here's the thing: before we started recording, I actually won matches, and now that it's all on video. Yeah. It's, it's hot. It's movie magic. Uh, but they oh, saw. I, yeah, I play fair, yeah, man. I yeah. play fair. Yeah. I, mean, uh, I didn't want to win on a on a on, on a technicality. Oh my god. Would have got oh red, god. red That was just how that played out was epic. Just. I mean, it was like the butterfly effect. Yes, yeah, absolutely. You know. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I don't know. And then you know, just side note, when people you know we talk in Discord all the time about like people are like, why don't we add this to you know why don't we add that? How come Gauss rifles don't blow up in Destiny? By the way, they don't blow up in Destiny because in the MechWarrior Destiny rulebook they don't blow up. But even if, like, it was something we were coming up with from scratch, I still wouldn't... It's just too much stuff to remember, and you yes. forget it. Yeah. Like, yeah. You're, in the, you're in, like, the heat of the game, you're like, I just stuff you're not going to remember. Yes. Yeah. You know, and I don't want to get in that situation where it's like, oh, man, if I would have remembered that rule, you would have won. You know? Yeah. I think less is more. I agree. Must. Keep it simple, stupid. So, speaking of keeping it simple, Aries Games and Minis. Okay? It's a place you want to go to buy stuff. Uh, dice... Stuff. Minis, obviously. Yeah. Uh, games. Books. Books. Everything you want is there. Uh, including fighting piranha graphics. So, Dan, you know, I noticed your beautiful paint jobs. Yes. Uh, Thank I you. I was complimenting you on them. Thank you. Uh, if you wanted to add some decals to those. I do, actually. That's one of the things I'm going to be looking into. Well, I have a stack from Aries Games and Minis that I just recently purchased. I, may, I can share with you. I would appreciate that. Yeah. Little numbers, little caution stripes. Uh, I don't have any pirate iconography that's okay you may, you may want to buy those i got like a couple 40k skull, ones that i can probably throw some skulls. skulls on there <laughs> but that's that's heresy don't do that <laughs> uh so aries games and minis guys that's your one-stop shop also hardware studios uh you can buy stuff right from right through aries right through yes. Derek. i just bought a whole bunch of awesome i was showing them to yes you. yeah but the little little lance carrier yeah it's, it's awesome. so cool i kind of want one I mean, it Not reminds me of like the like GI Joes and stuff when you were a kid and you had like the airplane that would like open up and all your the Star Wars yeah, thing, right? Yeah, like yeah. The, the transport you'd open up and all your dudes would be in there. Like uh -huh. Mighty Max, you pop it open, it's a little dungeon inside you're playing with. It. Oh yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Yeah, that's, Mighty Max, right? Yeah. Wow, that takes me and Polly Pocket for you females out there. Uh, I mean, <laughs> so those are those are still a thing. As a father of three girls, I will tell you, those are still a thing. Are they really? Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah. Right. I, I can tell you, if Mighty Max is still a thing, I don't have any boys. I only make girls. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's my blessing. Uh, uh, so anyway, Aries Games and Minis does not sell Polly Pocket, but everything else that you want, you can get there. Uh, other than that, <laughs> guys, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a like, leave a comment, let us know what you think. Uh, we're having a lot of fun with the, with the Destiny stuff, but always love hearing the, uh, the feedback. Yes. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this, this battle, and, and of course, hope you enjoyed looking at some new models on the table. Uh, but other than that, Dan, I have nothing nothing more to say to you. I don't know. Nothing. All right. Yeah. Well. I'm all caught up. All caught up. Guys, thanks so much for watching. And of course, stay tuned. Always great stuff coming from Death From Above Wargaming. Have a good night.